Ah, good morning, you glorious bastards. My name is Fox Soul. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video here on Lords of the Fallen. I got myself a cup of coffee. And before we get started, I hope that you guys had a Merry Christmas, good holidays. Or good holidays in, in general. Pardon me, I'm drinking my cup of coffee right now. And I am thinking about something that I've been wanting to make a video on. And I technically already made this video about the stigmas of Lords of the Fallen. But I have a, I want to go back to it again. And I want to actually incorporate y'all in a thought process that I have. With an example of how could Lords of the Fallen stigmas... Because with all these updates going on, well, I think it could be a little better. And I'm going to explain here shortly to you. All right, let's go. All right. So, yeah, recently we played another game here called Solstice. That actually does its own interpretation of stigmas and umbral world in its own way. And coming upon here to this little stigma over here. This is one of the very first ones. And I'll, I'll probably go to a few of them. And I, I'm just going to showcase one more time about these stigmas. You have to go to the umbral, pull this. Like, you really are not getting a context, an immersive context of what's going on. Like, you got an idea, right? But I don't think anyone actually is getting from this the actual idea. Send those back to the cliff. Fall back, fall back. Well, I'm guessing that the Rogar has overran, from my, my interpretation of this, the Rogar has overran the small little village, the Sentinels. You know, the house and those are all of us was run back to the crypt, which is the beginning part that we started at. That's what I would guess from. But it's not a really that immersive experience. It's not that really of a amazing experience in so and so forth. So let's go to another one real quick. Let me go ahead because I how many souls I got. I ain't even worried about my souls. So let's just go ahead and get rid of 92,000 souls. And let's go to another stigma, okay? One that I personally not too sure of. Because the story to me with the stigmas here, let me grab this. Uh, I should know because we're gonna restart this and we're gonna re-speed run this later today. I do plan to live stream sometime today and I do plan to live stream during my birthday, but hey, it's what it is. So if, in case y'all guys didn't know, my birthday's coming up. I'm gonna be 36. We're going to be growing up from 35 to 36. Oh boy, what a life it is. What a life it is. And I've decided I'm not going to really bitch about this game much anymore. What I'm going to end up doing is I just want to discuss this. So the last thing we're going to go to is going to be this one over here. Same thing I did in the previous video. And a lot of you I know say, oh, well, I understand the story. That's great. I know a lot of us who's played the game on live streams and such. You know, we still don't quite understand it. Let's get rid of these motherfuckers. There you go. All fucking gone. All fucking gone. No one to come back here. We have this stigma. Most blessed representatives of the Holy Judge Cleric. My soul soars to see how Jetong a pilgrim. And hey, we're getting evaded at the same time. You are on sacred ground. And we are yet to see whether you are deserving of that honor. I assure you, I have dedicated my life to the teachings of Judge Cleric. I apologize. That's not what I was planning to do. I forgot to turn off the network play. But hey, look. You get a little bit of extra something, right? The our immaculate lady's light will lay bare the truth. And in radiance, there is judgment. All right. So 
So from those two stigmas, especially the second one, if you guys could explain to me what you gathered from that, that'd be great. And for a little bit of extra context here, a little extra, you know, lovey-dovey here. We're being targeted. Let's go see if we can go find our executioner. There he is. That would be our executioner. Let's bring our executioner with us real quick. The same idea almost for the armor as I did. Huh. Creepy. Alright. Tell you what, now, with that out of the way, and our, you know, our target little fan base there being destroyed, we'll put the seedling up real quick. I'm gonna rest for a minute. But I really, I really like to get your thoughts and opinions about this. From the stigmas that you've seen so far in this world, without the interruption of being, you know, invaded, because my dumbass did not turn network off. What are you gathering from this story? Like, what did you get from this? Tell me. Representatives of the Holy Judge Cleric, my soul. <laughs> Because I really don't understand. I don't feel like it's that immersive. Now, there is a game that I have actually played. I'm going to rest real quick. And we're going to switch over to that game real quick. All right. So give me a few seconds. We're going to switch over to that game real quick. And then when we're going to go ahead and uh, take a look at what that one has for us. All righty. Okay. Give me one quick second. All righty. So bear with me right here real quick as... We're loading up our new game, a game called Solstice, which also does the stigmas, kind of like Lords of the Fallen. This game came out well before Lords of the Fallen, over a year before, uh, in 2022. So, why don't you take a look at this? I I've actually enjoyed this game. Uh, before we get started on going into here, I'm just going to let you guys know. If you want a game that legitimately brings out to you you know, did you like Del May Cry and stuff like this? This is a good game not to overlook. It really is. But let's go to memory one. Because it ain't gonna spawn nothing about the story. Because if you're worried about the story being spoiled, this won't spoil it at all. Where, where am I? And we'll skip this cutscene real quick. Welcome to their version of the Umbral World, or the Dark World, in a sense. Alright. This is kind of like what the original Lords of the Fallen did, to a certain degree. But I want you to take a look at this, for example. You see this right here? This is your stigma. Let's go ahead and activate it. This is the way I think Lords of the Fallen could have could if they did an update or they did a new game. This is the way I think that they should copy and paste. If you're going to copy and paste Dark Souls, you should copy and paste the stigma situation from this because watch this. That should be enough. I've got enough splinters in my fingers for today. You get to carry them home. Every time. It's immersive. It changes. Just once Loot! Get back here! Where are you? Briar! I must be seeing her memories. Now, I would take away, you know, the story aspect of it, like seeing her memories, this part right here. But the stigma itself, like, this would be like one stigma, right? And then you would go find another stigma and it would continue the story. It would be immersive to where we don't need it to be that long. We don't need it to be over a minute or too long. We just need it to be something like the 30 some seconds. Something that you get to look. Because watch, let me do this one right here. Uh, 
If you always use the same hiding place, you'll always find me. You should be doing your chores. Will you tell Mama? <laughs> no. I got enough firewood, but next time... What were you doing? Well, I did everything alone. This! I chose only the most beautiful flowers. You like... Mama will like it. I'm just going to shift her a little bit. Oh, Papa? You're mocking me! No. No. He likes my strings of rabbits, so... Why not your wreath of flowers? Your rabbits are useful. He'll think... No, it's not. <laughs> you made it, so he'll love it. I... Thanks. I... I hope so. What was that? I'm not sure. Cries? From our village. Let's go back, Root. Stay close to me. And you see, you get to see the tree. You get to go through it a little bit, you know. But I, I don't know. No, it just, just, just to me, when we were doing the entire Lords of the Fallen, and we're streaming this game afterwards, after playing Lords of Fallen and playing this game and realizing how they are doing their stigmas here, that I legitimately was like, well, wait a minute. This is actually a way of telling the story of what happened to these two sisters through the memories. And it's the stigmas. And to me, this is a little bit more, you know, comprehensive. It's a little bit better. It's, well, in my perspective, it's a little bit better. And I get the ability to run into this real quick and just be like a police officer. Whoop, whoop, police are here. But the idea that I would say is, is like, okay, let's say we got those two stigmas, right? The next stigma I would find would continue the story itself. And it would be still as immersive as this. Because in some cases you hear like you get like a stigma that's like three seconds long, like ah in Lords of the Fallen, where some guy like in the beginning of the if you find all of them. And they're all broken apart. So you can find like the beginning, the end, or whatever. Each stigma, I would make it continuing the story that you already continue you already saw before in order to find all of them. I like the transitions like this. A little bit like okay, you see her th uh, losing the reef from the run. And I would like to find, I would like it if Lords of the Fallen would actually do something like this. Like if they do another Lords of the Fallen or if they update the game and they update the stigmas. This is something to take away. You could, I feel like you could do this in the game. I feel like you really could. Now, we're going to pause it right there because I don't want to spoil the next part of the story here because we don't need to see nipples yet. But if you guys are, if you guys are interested in this game, I do plan to make a video on this game soon enough. To express my opinion on this because I feel like Solstice here is a hidden gem. And it has, if you like Berserk, you like Rowan Warriors, you like old anime, this this game here brings out a lot of that story. But in general with Lords of the Fallen, I feel like the stigma could be better well implemented in a more immersive way. And this game... I legitimately feel like they did the stigmas well because how you get to each memory and how you get to each stigma, it showcases the story in little parts, but it's so comprehensive of what's happening from here. We know that the two little girls were out going to collect firewood. One little girl ran away and went to go make a wreath of flowers for her father. And then they go ahead and they're hearing cries from the coming from the village. So they're running towards the village to go see what's happening. That is the first part of the first three stigmas, which, you know, and each one of them feels more immersive. You can actually examine around it. You can examine what the stigma is looking at. You can examine what's going on. And to me, I think it's a better representation. And I think that this is something that could potentially be something that the devs should look at and incorporate if they ever did a, another version of Lords of Fallen or since their vision is completely changing back and forth, that this could be something that they could implement in Lords of the Fallen as of now. So thank you guys for taking the time to watch the video. Again, I hope you've had some happy holidays, a Merry Christmas, and I hope your new year's coming up in 2024 is a good one. And I will go ahead and I will catch you on the flip side.
Peace.